And 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 the only thing lacking on it now, and this engine ain't been started, this will be a cold start first start. I got the EK mags here. Uh, this this one here is the one that actually came with this engine. I know nothing about this mag. I ain't took it apart or nothing. I'm confident that I could put the mag on here, the engine would probably start with it. But that is not a good idea. I advise against that. Here's another, and then this is the type of situation you'll be running into there at your shop. And this is supposed to, uh, this was on a running engine at some point in time in the past. I've not seen it run. Um, you know, it was on a, uh, an auction sale engine, this one was. And I got, uh, you know, some more in the shed in there that's not verified that they're good or that they have been matched to this engine. Now, you may say, well, you took a long time to explain that. The, 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 the bottom line is the, the reason that I'm not going to put that EK mag on here and start this engine is let's say that there is something wrong with the magneta. And I'm trying to start the engine. And maybe it's something wrong with the fuel system. Maybe it's got a bad spark plug in it. Maybe uh, the, something is not right. Okay, you're at a loss to know actually what to do. Now, I've got a buzz coil set up here. All it is is a, is a, is a regular old Ford buzz coil. I actually have four of them in a, in a, in a holder there, but they do operate separately. Uh, and I got the 12 volt batteries, two six volt batteries combined. I verified the voltage. I know all four of that bank of mag buzz coils are good. I've done all the adjustments on the engine per the manual. Greased, adjusted everything. The engine has not been started. So that I know that I have a ignition system. When I put this on here, I'm going to show you something. There's a reason for this. And you, you will benefit from it if you are a engine person. The system that I'm going to put on here, and right here it is. It's this thing. It's these two pieces right here. And I'm not going to do no blueprint. I'm not going to do nothing like that right there because this is kind of self-explanatory. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're capable of building this thing, then you're capable of doing this. And you see there that them holes are just haphazard, and that's so that I'll have adjustment. And all that is, is a, that, actually that right there, I was looking at that, I made that a long time ago. And that's a piece of old printed circuit board of some nature. It's copper on the back, plastic on it. It's good, hard, firm material. It's the only reason I used it. And I do have a little longer uh, tip on it. And actually, that was to clear the uh, uh, crankshaft collar there. It was a little bit longer. And that actually could be at a more point and that way the spark wouldn't last as long. And the way that thing works, when that comes around, it hits this, it, it's a micro switch. I don't put it on a little piece of aluminum there, bent to whatever shape that I needed. And it even has a slot in here where I can do some adjustments. And that goes around and, and makes contact. This, this, is, this is what ignites the engine. Okay, let's put all of this on there and start the engine. And, uh, to uh, now, this is the first time. Remember, now we, we this is all you're 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 right here following along with me as we start this engine in real time. I may have to do uh, you know uh, may have to edit something out just for time time constraints only. But you, we, we, I'm removing you. You cannot see what I'm doing, so I'll give you a. I'll give you a, a commentary, and what I'm doing is removing. See that that plate there, and, and, and I didn't clean this engine up because I want I want to save that grease on there as was. Um, that's the plate that holds that other thing on there. Look it up, and then what I'm going to do is put this thing here behind this plate right here. And you see that slot there, it can move wherever I want it. But I'm going to mount it uh, behind it. Just get her on there. Put that right back on there. 
It actually ignition is very simple. Uh, there's nothing complicated at all about ignition systems. All of them work basically the same. Okay, got that one started, and we'll get that other one in there. Just put it in there, ever, ever uh, turn your flywheel to where you can actually get to that hole between the spokes. Okay, now I know by, and this is something that you can figure out there when, when you building this thing, and I'll, I'm going to explain a little bit more. I, I, I know about, I've used this thing a dozen times. This ain't the first time I've ever used it. This, this, is, uh, this is not the first time I have used this ignition on an engine. So I know kind of the position I want it to start with, and I can make some adjustments. But what happens now is when you turn the flywheels, that lobe turns on the cam. That's tied onto there, it won't move. And this thing right here, you put right across there where the mag would have been, and just put a bolt in that bottom hole there for kind of. Uh, give you alignment so you'll know where to go back to on the next one because these mounting are fixed now and, and this is the wire harness right here and that micro switch I want it to be well let's let me get that back off of there and show it to you I, I neglected to do that I would be a mess if I didn't the micro switch it's got a normal on and a normal closed and a common. Okay, I like to use the common as the ground war. And the, for, for this to work as ignition, this would be normal, normally open. Okay, so you put it on that, on the corresponding lug. And the other one is normally closed, which, like now, that one would be closed, and this one's open. So you have to do that in order to make contact. Okay, now you see this little jumper wire right here? Uh, all that is, a piece of, all of that is, and I put that on there, kind of, I need it to come around this way, so I'm going to put it right back on there, same way, uh, normally open. Uh, I want to run the wires a different way. So, and this is the kind of stuff you're going to be doing right there in your backyard just like I am. Okay, and, 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 and now, in order to get a ground from the battery to the engine so that the spark plug will fire, I made this right here, and you can put that anywhere. Just put it right there if you want to. And uh, now let's put this back on there. It's really, really, really simple. Uh, most anything will work as a contact. Just a piece of, uh, uh, just a piece of war. Uh, I've actually ran them on a safety pin before. Now, then these wires here, just wrap, wrap them over there out of way. The, uh, the way it works is when you turn this, when, when you turn the flywheels in the direction of running, when you turn this right here and the timing mark on the flywheel corresponds with the timing mark on the bottom of the crankcase, that micro switch should make contact. You hear it? Did y'all hear that? And, and, and the way I got that thing lined up is that little lobe right there hits the center of that little roller on that micro switch. <laughs> 